okay hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm currently filming this on saturday the 23rd but i'm gonna have it posted off on sunday because i did say i would give you this video this week and i just never filmed it um but i am so excited for my new intro because i will explain on monday's video but basically if you're new here um I'm working on my debt, you know, and I'm um, trying to save as much money as I can. And that's basically the gist of it. Um, all right. So this video is going to be dedicated on how I made these cash envelopes. So again, I have a whole bunch of cash envelopes and I love them all, but I always change my mind on like the style I want and just my budget just can't afford to buy anymore. So I decided to start making my own because I do change my style a lot. Um, so these are the ones I made. My style right now is more of like concealed, but you can still see the money in the back, but like not when you first see it, like in my binder, you can't see the money, but if I turn it to the back, you can see it. Um, so I'm going to show you how I made these and the reason why I'm like have to do this anyway is because one of my cash envelopes i kind of like sealed it wrong and now i'm trying to find it which one was it you can like really tell when you sealed it wrong because it's like here um it's like super soft in the inside while the other ones are shiny so i definitely did this one wrong which is festive dinners so i definitely have to redo this one um so i'm gonna take it out just for now um and yeah and then i also because because i like to change up my um style i knew that i didn't want gray at the moment just because everything of mine is gray but i also like know that i like to change my mind so i did buy gray cards um, but anyway this is what you need um so and i'll link everything in the description box below the things that i can you know because i can link everything um because it took me a while to find this cardstock or like even no one mentions it like where they get their cardstock from which i understand because like you're trying to sell a product but i definitely had to do my research on like the best cardstock the, and the most affordable so i definitely got them from michael's um and here's what the package looks like this is actually pretty good cardstock so i really like it um, i know there's astro bright too but there's a, their colors are not really neutral for me i think some of their neutral packets have like a little bit of glitter on it and i'm not really feeling the glitter for my cash envelopes um but yeah so i have one piece of cardstock because i'm only gonna make one set um you need that lamination paper which i can link down below this is five millimeters um in thickness but i know i think there's more because i remember seeing another video where she had like eight millimeters something like that and i was like what but yeah so there's definitely thicker lamination if you really like that thick cash envelope. Um, you're going to need a hole puncher for the A6 or the personal ring. Um, you're going to need a cutter. And you're going to need a laminator, which is currently heating up. So I can't show you that right now, but I will show it to you in the video. Um, okay, so i never remember how to make cash envelopes so that's why i have this little thing here which is all from erin condren um this is what i was using when i first in 2020 wanted to keep track of like all the videos my ideas blah 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 um and i'm still gonna keep it because i like it you know um maybe i might find a future purpose for this in the future but right now it's just my ideas in terms of when i make something here are my cash envelopes so i'm currently going to be doing i think this one yeah i'm doing this one um because seven inches is just too long for me um i like it a little bit shorter so i'm gonna follow those directions um okay um let me see all right so the first thing i'm gonna do is cut up my what's it called um cardstock so I'm just gonna take my paper cutter and my instructions say three inches this way and six and a half long I guess you can say um, so I'm gonna start off with I always forget like 
how I can cut more for my money, you know, to get more out of this. Um, that doesn't make sense. I always forget, guys. You're going to have to give me a minute to, like, I think I do it like this. I think I do it like this. Three here. Yeah, let's just do it like this because I really can't remember. Usually, like, when I make a set for myself, it's, like, trial and error. Um, because I don't make them quite often, so, so that's three inches, another three inches, one, two, and then we have this leftover. I'm pretty sure you can get more out of the cardstock, but I can't remember how, but anyway, so it's three inches this way, which is the width, I believe. And then for length, we're going to do six and a half inches, which if you have this cutter, um, I know that six and a half is up to here. That's like one thing I do remember. But if you don't trust that, then you can always up, open up this side. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to do it and feel it out the best I can. And honestly, making cash envelopes is tedious, but it saves me Monishka, you know. So I'm just going to do that with this. It's going to come out to two. So there we go. And I have two slips for ooh, two cash envelopes. I'm pretty sure I could have made three, but I forgot how to do it. Sorry, guys. But I did make another video in the beginning when I bought the wrong cardstock. Um, so I'll link that down below too. Maybe in that video I know how to do it. I forgot. Um, But yeah. So that's that. Okay, after that, you're going to cut up your lamination, but um, the same way, basically. You're going to do um, six and a half long and then three wide, but because I don't want to waste lamination, I do remember, this is where I put all my extra stuff. Um, I do remember, oh my goodness, I had one right here. Look at that, I totally forgot. Okay, but because I don't want to... Um, waist i have it already cut up here wow one two oh three four i'm about to make these because i'm not trying to waste but i need to figure out how much fits in one lamination sheet okay so again um I know I usually don't like the videos that like don't show everything, but I do have another video that I show absolutely everything. So I'll link that down below. But basically, you're gonna cut this the same way you cut your cardstock. But the only thing is, I would cut off the corners just a little bit because um, if you want like straight, not curved, you would cut off a little bit of the corners like in a straight line. Um, but that would be the only difference. Um, okay. So, when you do this part, you get double, right? Because you're not using both sides unless you were making clear cash envelopes. Then, you know, you would flip them. Um, and you would have to use two, you know? But because one side is covered and one side is not, you only need one piece of cardstock that you cut and one piece of lamination. Now, the trick is with this. This is what I did wrong. I put the soft side inside and this is what adheres to the lamination so you have to flip it so that the soft side is outside of the lamination um so yeah that's basically it so that's one i think i can only fit three on one lamination this is gonna be a second one yeah second one and then this might be my third one i don't think i can fit more than three only because I like holes for mine because I don't these are not cash envelopes for me these are more like sinking funds sinking funds because I don't use cash envelopes because I keep like for food I keep it in the bank so that I can use my credit card and then just pay my credit card right away so that way I can get rewards um I don't have gas because I don't drive I walk everywhere and before like the whole pandemic happened I was actually taking public transportation um and then what else yeah that's typically what people use cash envelopes for 
Um, but I, I'm like, I don't, I don't overuse my credit card. I only use it if I know I have the money to pay it off, you know? Okay. So that's my little spiel. So I can put this away, um, for now because we're going to need it again. All right. So now because I like to do holes, oh my God. Um, I need to kind of like. And because it's white, you can see everything if you have, like, little dusty things. Look at that. I am wearing black pants. So. <laughs> oh, God. So, that's just a little bummer right now. Because it has, like, little black furs everywhere. Um, so, because I like to have holes, I have to make sure I, ha I leave space on the bottom to make the holes. So, basically, this is what I do. To my best of my ability. I don't know how um, shops get it so perfect every time. If you can even say perfect. Um, there's some shops. Oh my god look at all this. Uh, there's some shops that definitely don't do all perfect. And like you can tell. But there's other shop like. Shout out to Nash's Wallet. She always be like you know. Doing it. Like the same exact way. Like her cash envelopes never fail. Trust me, like, if I was willing to spend the money, I would buy from her, but I'm on a budget. <laughs> and I bought all the stuff so I could make it myself. Um, okay, anyway. So, yeah. So, basically, because I make holes, I... These can be close together because this is where I'm gonna have it open. But, um... There you go. So, that's two. And then my third one would go here. So let me just clean this off. I don't know if you can see it, but I see it with my naked eye, the little black stuff, and it like just bothers me. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see it. <sighs> um, and my nails are clear, guys, because I want to do something. And I'm like going to film it. I don't know if I'm going to post it. Or I don't know if I'm going to do it because I'm a little scared. But yeah. I just need to take a break from like prepping my nails. Just because I'm scared. Um, But yeah. Alright. I'm trying to get the dust off guys. Oh my goodness. Okay. Again the smooth part, smooth part has to be on the outside and you'll know what i mean there's a shiny part and a smooth part the smooth part has to like you, you'll feel it you'll be like oh if you do it yourself you'll be like oh i understand what she's saying now i understand what she means you could basically say um okay so then the third one has to go a little bit here now i don't want to put it too close to the other cash envelopes because i need to cut here um but I don't want to put it too... This is like cricket. I don't know if you can see if it's cricket. It, if it comes out cricket, it's a little hard, harder to cut. So I try to do it as best as I can. But yeah. And I want the space, again, for the holes. So that is it. Now I'm going to go get my... What's it called? My... Laminator. That's already prepped. And this one is just going to go back into my little binder. Because um, I don't want to use another lamination sheet. Not yet. Um, okay. So then. This is the laminator I use. I got it off of Amazon. I used to have the older version. I don't know if you can hear it. But um, I used to have the older version. But that was not really laminating. And people said to like just do it twice. But I just rather just get a new one. Because that one. My older one was really old. Like really old. It's like when I first started teaching. Which was in like 2014. Okay. So. This is a tricky part. Like now you have to like carry it into the machine. Perfect. Or else. Your things are going to come out crazy looking. We shall see if I can cut that off if it curves. I'm gonna fast forward this part. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so that is it. So I'm just gonna turn this off. Um, and let it cool down before I put it away. So oh, look at that, it bent a little bit. Okay. Um, and I would recommend holding it while it goes through the lamination because if you just let it go, it will probably most likely mess up. Um, okay, so now we go back to this. And the first thing I do is I just cut them out so they're individual and not in one set. Um, so I'm going to quickly do that now. And what I'm going to do first is basically cut off where it would open anyway. So you see here, this is where it opens. Okay, so yeah, you see this is where it would open. This is where it would open. All right, now with this part, I am going to clean out the little extra siding. So I'm going to clean them out now um for this one i'm gonna show you and basically you don't want to cut where the air bubble is i don't know if you can see where the air bubble can you see that i don't know can i should i turn off my light um i don't know if you can see that line right there where my fingers is at oh maybe now you can see it um but you don't want to cut that air bubble out um just because that would just ruin your cash envelope and like make it split open but you want to cut as close as you can to it so that's as close as i can cut to it or else it's just gonna open up and you just did all that work for no reason on this side you don't really need to cut off because you stuck it all the way to the end of the um lamination sheet where it's already sealed now for this part let me remember i am gonna do six and a half wait what no, no, no. I thought I made a mistake, guys. I am going to do three and a half and two more. <laughs> That's literally what I wrote. I'll, I'll show you. Three and a half and two more. <laughs> and basically what that means is, hopefully I can show it on camera. Um, When I go this way, I think it's when I go this way. No, it's when I go this way. Okay, so it's basically three. So I have it at three. All right, I have it at three, and then I have half. I'm supposed to go up to half, and then two more little lines. So one, two. I hopefully you can see that, and basically, voila. And that is my little extra right here. Um, so I'm gonna show you again. Uh, first, I'm gonna cut off the sides as close to the edge as I can, but without breaking the bubble and then here i'm gonna go to three the three inch then i'm gonna go to the half three and a half inch and then my little two lines are basically going one two two lines after the three and a half and there you go i'm gonna do it again for this one this one you have to cut a little bit more because this was at the very end of the cash um of the lamination so I'm like really testing fate right now with me just like not even double checking. But basically again you go to three and a half, one, two. And that's it. That's what you do. Okay, and then we are done with the cutting. Um after the cutting, this is what you have. Okay, this is what you have with a little space. Now this is where your hole puncher comes in and you want to be sure to align it where it says personal size um, with this little thing. Or do I even do that? I don't even remember if I do that. And then you want to make sure you align it with the personal here as well for the holes. I think I just do it like this. Do I? I don't think so. I need to double check. Hold up um oh no all of them fell out i just have to double check guys because i don't want them to be off from the other cash envelopes so i'm gonna you basically like push it towards this and then you hope let's test to see if that's really what i do psych that's not what i do 
That's not what I do. <laughs> Let me just fuck this one up. Okay, I think I do it like this, to be honest. So that it's even on both sides. I'm pretty sure this is how I do it. <laughs> yup, that's better. Do you see how my skin can pop in through? Because the first one I definitely did bad. If you look, my holes are two different places. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Okay, so this one's going in the garbage, obviously. Um, and so basically, I don't use this. I just try to make it as even as possible on both sides. Right? Or like, yeah, as even as possible. And that's what I do to make the holes good. Just because with this one, it's just so weird in terms of like giving more space to one side than the other side. Um, so yeah, it's a little weird with this one. Um, anyway, so basically, yeah, that's what I do, guys. So here are two fresh cash envelopes. Oh, I have to get my machine out because of this label. Okay, give me a second. Okay, so to make my labels, I use a label maker because I don't trust my hand. I like my handwriting, don't get me wrong. But I don't trust my handwriting to be consistent over and over again. So I just use the label maker um, and basically I'm not gonna use this one so I'm gonna put this one in the extra pocket I have here I'm just gonna put it in here you never know if I come up with a new category okay so we are doing festive dinners so it's basically what I'm gonna type in um, I believe this is medium. No, large, medium, okay. And all caps. And so I have festive dinner. And festive dinners is basically, I don't really do gifts, um, unless like it's a baby, but, or like a child. Um, so for the adults, it's more like out to dinner, order them food, or special holidays, you know, like Christmas. My family likes to make like traditional meals, birthdays, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, so basically festive dinners. And then you can take a tweezer to do this, which most likely I might. Let me just find some tweezers. Um... Okay, so I have tweezers here, and I'm just going to put it to the top, right here, and then I just want to make sure it's straight as possible. Okay, so that's basically what I do, guys. Um, and then I'm just going to switch this one out, and put this in. And then take out my cash envelopes. And this literally what you do over and over and over. Um, and it's just tedious work, guys, to make cash envelopes. It really is. I don't have the time to do it, guys. I really don't. Um, only, like, if I'm, like, in desperate need of change. But, yeah, guys, this one's garbage. But, yeah, guys, that's how I make these cash envelopes. Before I, you know, close out this video, let me just put these away because I'm sick and tired of looking at them. I'm going to put it with these. These are my, like, all my other cash envelopes. These are, like, the f first ones I ever bought. These were the first ones I ever bought, actually. Like, from Romina Rosa. This is when back in the day when she used to do this design. And these were, like, her first ones. I don't know if you can see. But she doesn't do this design anymore. Um, she has, like, Rose, Kiss, something else. Um, but, yeah, I still keep it because it's, like, for memory. Um, and these are another set of... These were my first set of Nash's Wallace, which I absolutely love. Um, and then these were some gifted ones to me, which I also love because of the color and the coverage but yeah i'm gonna put these in here yeah because i'm just tired of looking at them so basically that is it 
for this video guys hopefully you enjoyed this video i'll link a not this exact one label maker because this is an old version they have now newer sleek versions but yeah guys hopefully you enjoyed this video please comment like and subscribe we're almost at 2k guys i'm like 102 away from 2k um and i will see you in my next video bye